in this video i will add service that will get data from database using entity framework core add new project for service this project will have all the service of the project project name claim.service delete this class we don't need this i will add one more project for dto classes claim.dto in service project i will add two folders one is iServices that will have all the services interface. Second folder service. In this folder, I will add all the services of the project. I will create claim service that will get claims from database. So first I will add interface of a claim service. Interface name, I user claim service. In this interface, I will add method signature. First method, get user claims. Return type task. In a task, I will return list and list type will be DTO class. I will create this DTO class in a DTO project. User claim DTO. Method name get user claims. We will pass lambda expression from color function. Parameter type expression. Func type will be entity class. Copy entity class name. App user claim. Second parameter boolean. Parameter name expression. Now I will create DTO class. Copy class name. Rename this class. In this DTO class, I will add two properties, claim type and claim value. Add DTO project reference in a service project. We need to add reference of our two projects, DTO and data. Import namespace of a class, expression, and app user claim entity class. Now I will add service class, service name, user claim service. This service implement interface I user claim service. Import namespace. Implement interface. It will add those methods that need to be implemented. We have one method in the interface. We will inject app db contacts in the service. Private read only copy class name app db contacts. We will use constructor injection for dependency injection. Import namespace. Now I will write link query to get data from claim. This is a temp object in app db context. In order to access table, I will create db set property in a db context class. db set represent the table public virtual db set type app user claim name app user claim. Dot app user claim dot where pass expression select new will cast entity class into DTO class initialize DTO class with entity class to make single statement I will enclose this in a parenthesis this will be async I will add a wait here I will call link method to list async import this namespace and return this statement now we will inject this service in a controller i will create a controller for claim service select this template api control empty controller name user claim controller add constructor of a controller now we will inject claim service private read only type i user claim service we will use interface here and dotnet core will inject the service in place of interface add service project reference you can see service project as a dependency in dependencies in a project dependency here add this service dependency in a constructor so dotnet core can inject the dependency when it create the object of this controller class i will create two get methods public async return task with i action result method name get admin claims var result await because of async method user claim service in dot get user claim here i will pass the condition i will return admin and manager type claims x dot claim type i will compare with constant dot import helper namespace role admin and second condition x dot claim type equal constant dot role manager i will return the result object in ok response i will create a copy of this get method method name get manager claims remove this admin condition so now it will return manager type claims in this controller i have a to get method with the same type in http get you can give the name to this endpoint 
and now you can access this method with this API endpoint name in program.cs file you have to register the I user claim service with click user claim service I will register this service with scoped lifetime builder dot service dot add scoped in angle bracket I user claim service comma user claim service parenthesis semicolon save the changes start the application In Swagger, you can see two new API endpoints. Click on try it out. Click on execute. It will send API request. In response, you can see admin and manager claims. Now we will test manager claim API endpoint. This API returned the manager claims. I will end this video here. In the next video, I will apply the authentication on these endpoints. Thank you for watching this video.